Hello and welcome to episode 47 of our Timberborn Update 5 Water Beaver playthrough You're in cycle 57, day 1. Last time we did a whole lot of expansion up here, including the addition of a very large quantity of these giant bamboos, and then a bunch more <clears throat> of these giant sequoias as well. In addition, started constructing another advanced sawmill with the help of more terrain blocks. And we are very, 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 very close to finally having the elevator to the abyss up and running. Just have to get the last of this uh, nasty water out of here because we flooded this thing stupidly and also put our medium mine out of commission, uh, which we probably could stand to have another one of these. But we'll get there when we get there. So, today... Probably, probably no real uh, one singular goal at this point in this playthrough. Just kind of have to keep on doing whatever we can, whenever we can do it. And boy, is there a list. Uh, I do read all the comments every time you guys leave them before I record the next episode. And while this is a back-to-back -back episode, a Saturday, Sunday set, uh, there was still time for enough of you guys to submit stuff. So I think we can have a pretty good amount of things to accomplish today starting with not having everything marked for cutting and boy is that a uh, a glaring error for me to commit but we're going to go ahead and take care of that uh, get these guys marked we can actually unmark well i'll leave the uh, the banana area marked because that's going to have to be uh, whatever it is this come on flick this dynamite is for a path to get into the other greenhouse once we build that. Uh, in addition, we have all of these sequoias that need to be cut down, so we need to mark those, which we will proceed to do now. And just make sure that we have everything else taken care of elsewhere. I think we're probably okay. But uh, a number of you did notice that we didn't have these all marked, and that is what is causing... <laughs> That's what's causing this one to not be cut down yet. Just got to keep ahead of stuff as best as we can. So that hopefully is the only time we're going to have to worry about that. But now you guys have me looking around at uh, other areas as well, trying to figure out exactly what we're going to be doing here. So these trees are gone. So we don't need to have this marked anymore. Just want to make sure we don't have too many things marked when they aren't supposed to be. Because that's just going to end up causing all sorts of other problems. Since we're over here, we have this space that is kind of a rat's nest in terms of stuff being in the way. And we do need to eventually get over here to figure out what we're doing with all of this stuff. So easiest thing for us to do to make that happen is going to be just to pop one of those guys right there. And then bring in a path course there's lags so that's not going to work uh, bring in a path and let them just cut stuff down so I'm going to put right here one lumberjack flag we can demolish this blockage and then there's there's so much so much we've got to get rid of here and it's yeah it's just a lot so we're gonna have our work cut out for us for sure, but eventually, eventually we'll get there. We also have this space up here that I was going to plant more lotuses in, but I don't think we're going to really need to worry about that now, especially because we have a thousand lotus flowers we can't do anything with, and we're making nenophars over here in our giant uh, tower of whatever else is happening over here. So that's nice to see. Uh, awful stew production, I did see pointed out, probably needs to be right next to the balloon that's actually using it. So uh, we do have... Actually, no, we don't have. We do not have any small pots, cauldrons, whatever the thing's called. And to make it, I believe that has to come from... No, I actually don't remember what building makes it. All right, well, time to figure that out. Oh, wood burner. Do I even have a wood burner? 
No, I got rid of it. All right, well, that was probably a stupid choice. Uh, where can I even put one of these things? See, this is not going to be a simple thing, is it? Never is. Very, very rarely does life ever work out that way. Yeah, this, it's definitely not going to work. Okay, um, there's got to be somewhere I can put this thing. Come on, man. Well, it's not solid, so I don't think it's going to cause backflow issues. So I'll just, yeah, whatever. I'll just put it here. It's fine. Make sure that is set to make clay pots with S. S for clay pot, apparently. Um, anyway, cooking tent or cooking in a tent. It's going to go here. And that is going to be making our awful stew because this right here is not the one that uses awful stew. This one is the one that uses awful stew. So it's it's fine. It's still close. We're trading the awful stew and some methane for ice blocks. Ice blocks which are desperately needed so we can make our frost balm to help with the burned beavers. There's so much other stuff we have to do as well. It's just... Wow, we actually have a hundred of them. We have a hundred... It's the minty bamboo shoots that's the problem for the frost balm. So let's... Um, huh. E we actually don't have strong alcohol. Okay, because this one's making endothermic essence. Uh, distillery, distillery, distillery. I know there's got to be at least one of these. Yep, that's doing a half-fermented sake and logs in a strong alcohol, and the half-fermented sake should be coming from here. But we don't have enough rice. Fortunately, we have these two things that are supposed to be making rice. It's just that we are so low on rice that it's causing all sorts of other problems further up the food chain or further down the food chain or whatever whatever might come to mind there. So back over here in lag world, uh, the greenhouse that needs glass panes that we cannot make because we don't have quartz and we can't get quartz because the mine is flooded. Greenhouse is where the banana trees go. And I've been warned not to build anything inside the greenhouse because that's a very temperamental building. So we won't be doing that. We're going to just try and figure out how this works. But we'll wait. And then, yes, uh, we had some people request lag that we build this tree. And I have received uh, a number of requests to pronounce it correctly. So I'm going to play the screen recording I did earlier of the American and the British pronunciations. You can choose whichever one fits your interpretation of English and pretend that's how I say it. Baobab. Bayabab. So no one is wrong. Anyway, this thing is not really a great way to get a bunch of wood, but it is neat. And it's, somebody said something about like a, a bench under it to get better stuff. Ah, yes. Social life. Because, yes, okay. Well, um, if I can get this to work right over here. I think, it, what, what is it, a 5x5? Five five? Yes, but it comes from the corner, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right here... Wait, why is it... Okay, there was this one? Well, no, then maybe it's not a 5x5. Five five. Is it a 4x4? Four four? Well, I don't want to plan it and be wrong, because then you have to take it out. Hmm. Well, I mean, we have room. We have room for it. But I also need to put it in another mine here, so I kind of want to get rid of this guy. Because um, I know I can flip these. Okay, well now I have to rotate it again. So this can go... It doesn't have to go. I have to push caps lock instead of the A key to move the camera. Good job. So this could actually go in this spot if we were able to blast out a hole here. I think that might be what we end up doing because this isn't very useful land anyway. There's also nothing in here. 
Nor do we need there to be, so that can completely go away. Well, now that we're on that here, well, what if... What if we just built this other thing? Okay, this is irritating, having to cover the whole screen. Uh, what if we just built this over here? Try to figure out exactly... And maybe... Maybe. It's too bad that these walls can't intersect, but this actually wouldn't be the worst possible place ever to put this. I'm just going to have to somehow remember how to blast this out and not be completely just dumb about it. Oh, I'm not good at relative positioning with this stuff. This is... Okay, so that would be a wall. That would be a wall. So this, I think, right here would be... Where that would... I, uh, I wish I could see without this thing in the way. That is very irritating. Very, 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 very irritating. Okay. That one works. And then it just has to go two more over. I know there's a billboard for it, yes. But the reason I'm doing it this way is so we can put more storage inside of it. Because that was a thing. Wait, what? The entrance to this was... On? Okay, all right. We're just gonna we're just gonna move that entirely. Irrigation lodge here instead. Well that's oh it's killing the grapes. Oh it's killing the grapes. Well, I did it to myself. You can't say that I don't deserve it. Alright. So the reason I'm not using this is because it still uses the same amount of dynamite it would to individually do it, but you have to pay extra whatever that nitroglycerin is. So that there's no compelling reason to do that. Because I really, really need to have quartz. We're not going to need quartz forever. Oh, hey, is this is this actually going? Yeah, okay. But we have no cereal bars because I didn't start making cereal bars. This is waiting on the clay pots because of course it is. Wood burner is waiting on... Wait, did we seriously not make one yet? Waiting on logs. Okay, well we have a thousand logs. That should be okay. I gotta make cereal bars. I think cereal bars were waiting on something else. Um, this... Awful stew going to get swapped over. Well, honestly, the cooking tent probably... That's making cereal bars probably needs to be up next to the thing. Or I could just make another one. Chestnuts. Chestnuts. I got 620 of those, so that's fine. Ah, rice. Yes, of course. Okay, this isn't... Okay, now it's actually repelling. Alright, so that's... Line. I'm pretty sure, yeah, three, three down is what we're uh, what we're looking at here. So we got that, and then there's a, another set of these here. I'll just do one line at a time, because that's probably going to be the only way I can actually do this. We do have 58 dynamite, which is nice because we still have plenty of stuff to take care of. Although this area has been fully dynamited out. I don't know. We've got uh, we got options here. I, I did get a comment saying uh, that we could just use these levees here uh, in this general area to try and push the bad water just a tiny bit further away so we could plant other sequoias here, which is a cool idea. But I don't think we need to at this point because we have so many of these things. I am very interested in this actually getting done. Hey, cereal bars are going in. Okay, so as soon as they have 20, I guess they're going to do an expedition. It's going to take 10 hours and they're going to go down to the, to the abyss. And they're going to get their ruins exploration points. There they go. See ya. Oh, they're actually gone, gone. Okay. Well, don't do anything dumb down there. Then 
then once this is in place, we'll just uh, pop this other medium mine in. And that shouldn't be a problem whatsoever to do that. Now, I don't think we need to have another thing making quartz. We just don't have anything making quartz right now because that has to naturally evaporate and it's going to take a super, super long time. But this is exciting to see the elevator to the abyss actually operating. And it's already refilled, ready to go for another trip. Another couple trips, actually. That is very good to see. So this is going to pop up here. In just a moment, hopefully, that platform comes back. 97%. Oh, they can't work at night, of course. Although it would be kind of funny if they did. Alright, so one more here and then this right there. And we should see this come up just as soon as the day begins, or shortly thereafter. There they come. And they come bearing 12 runes exploration and 1 science. And there they go again. Down to the abyss. So we finally got that going, which means it's time to think about other buildings that are going to get attached to it. Supplementary expedition team... I was just going to get us that stuff faster. Nuclear Waste Mining Expedition Center, if we choose to put one of those in, is going to get us nuclear waste, which is useful for all sorts of other stuff. The Gas Extractor, that's powerful. That is powerful. Not going to do that right now, but I think the, um, the really intriguing one is the Underground Factory that requires 1,000 HP, but can make stuff really quick really quick we just have to have you know the human relics which is going to take an entire mess worth of stuff to do so we're not going to bother building this yet because it requires 60 exploration points and 50 relics it, we're going to it's going to take a while to get all those well actually maybe not depending on how uh, how fast this decides to go thank you lag all right deep crate storage Deep Pile Storage Abyss Tourism Center, which I guess is just a recreational thing, so neat. And then the Abyssal Ore Excavation Drill. Directly for gold, huh? Alright, so we'll let this go for a little bit of time and come back, uh, but we are going to have to have a storage for runes exploration stuff. And the way this is set up right now, we don't really have a lot of... Uh, fantastic options for that and unfortunately it's not going to let me get away with doing that over here I can kind of kind of over here but that's you know I got to put expansions there so that's not going to uh, going to work I guess the easiest thing to do is just going to be to have it up on top here um, if I put one here and one here one here then I can do okay no that was actually wrong of me to, uh, to do that. I could and should instead do this. Yes. Because by doing that... Oh, I thought that was actually going to work. Never mind. Uh, skewer platform? Ah, oh, not not even a skewer platform? Not even a bridge platform? I can't, man, I can't have anything, huh? Well, it's fine. Um, warehouses... Also have the option to do scroll displays, which probably are going to be the better thing to be doing here. Just for the sake of not looking completely stupid. Runes exploration, and actually, those can just be runes exploration. Human relics go in what? Um, I guess I'll just put a little warehouse here. Yes, okay, that's what I needed. So right now this is... Okay, it's waiting on cereal bars, but it has just enough capacity to do one more little thing of runes exploration. But we want to be able to store those so we can use them later. Mmm, lag, yes. I'm glad we had the dynamite, because it would have been really annoying to have to wait again. Still flooded. Still flooded. 
But now we are actually uh, in a pretty exciting spot here to be able to get, hopefully, enough stacked up here where we're not going to have to do this recipe. So I can switch it to human relics after this one goes and comes back. At least for a little bit. And we can also build the extra exploration team, but it's going to require cereal bars, which we are not making in adequate quantities at the moment. Okay, one more thing of dynamite. And I think I can actually go ahead and build the thing now, because you don't have to do it this way. But I found a cool thing that was going to work, so I decided we were just going to do it. Now, did I build this incorrectly here, or am I just not have enough blast it out. Okay, no. This has to actually be gone. Alright, well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll get there. We have unbelievably tall bamboo, which is going to be yielding unbelievably minty bamboo shoots. Soon. Are we still waiting on that one cereal bar? Yikes. Well, at least we have power. But honestly, it's not really enough. Ah, because this is hooked up, and it's not operating. So probably what's going to need to happen is this needs to stay paused so we don't use our power until we need it. There we go. That's more like it. But we have the ability to do this, which is good. The other problem we're running into is we don't have scrap metal. Notice I got rid of a lot of the smelters. But don't forget... We have the ability, I think one of these was, um, one of these was going to get me some of that stuff. Oh, I'm just dumb. All right, just about out of here, and it's done. So, human relics, glowing fluid, and tools. Do I have a tool storage here? I'm pretty sure I do. Paper, pens, oh, I know I don't. I don't have tool storage. Well, guess what? We're going to put one right here. Uh, as soon as I remember what tools look like. Here we go. I'm also seeing a very low quantity of tools actually being produced. So let's come back and check. Coal. How are we out of coal? How? How? It's probably the dirt, honestly. So I did, I did this nonsense over here because I thought that was a smart choice. So terrain blocks. I probably don't need to be schlepping the terrain all the way across here anyway. I guess we can just leave that alone. There are a couple other spots that might have been nice to have extra dirt to fill things in. Um, but I kind of didn't want to do it because I didn't think it was going to be that good of a thing to be doing here. But as long as we have, I guess, all of this, might as well. Just let them do it so I can plant more of these sequoia trees here. It gives them something to do, at least. Yeah, we shouldn't ever have any dirt problems ever again because of that. This is, this is still... Oh, come on. This is still flooded over here. I got turned around six ways from Sunday on that one. Okay. Dynamite. Mine. Wait a second. What do you mean I can't put this here? Did I build it wrong? Or did it get an update where it's not going to let me get away with that anymore? Ooh, that's devious. That's devious. Because I did this exactly the same. I did this exactly the same over here. Hold on. Hold on. This is the same hole. It's the same hole. Unless it's actually... Not, oh, okay, never mind. It's not deep enough. Disregard. Although now this is going to get interesting because since it's the wrong size... I can't actually get down there. Well, what? how did I do this? Was that skewer platforms? Looks like it. Okay. Overhang walkway. 
Where is my... There we go. Why can't I click on this? Ha ha! Alright, skewer platform. There and there. And then uh, that other one comes on the side. It's probably a, maybe a better way to do this, but... It's not how we do things here. You know at this point. You know at this point. How many human relics? Fifteen. Fifteen human relics. Now, remember to build other stuff associated with this. We have to have, depending on what it is, we do have to have some other stuff. The underground laboratory operating team to make... Well, strong alcohol might actually be pretty useful. But um, I think it's going to have to be the factory one. We have to have 50. 50-50. So there's still a little bit of time left to go, but I do want to go ahead and research this. It's 5,000. 5,000 science, but that's going to be fine. This does not have another um, power input, so that's good. I'm just going to choose to place that right here. And they don't have to get into it. They just have to be able to build it. That's this guy right here. I just, I'm, look, I'm paranoid about this, okay? I just have to be sure that it actually functions. So they're going to take their sweet time doing that. We're going to set this to... Well, it seems like kind of a waste to do screw press axles, but that's the thing we're actually completely out of. So maybe it's not a waste. Maybe we just need to get good. My dynamite hasn't come over here either. Uh, I guess I'll just have this be the biggest priority thing. Oh, yeah, I'll, I know what they're doing. They're building this mess instead when I should actually have these all deprioritized. That's where all my builders are going. Yeah. I had accidentally created a reason for them not to do anything. So, that's fixed. And since we're building down, we don't need to worry about the bridge thing. Um, I can go ahead... Well, actually, I shouldn't put anything up here until I have something underneath it, because I think it's going to be really, really hard to click on it. In fact, I can only get to this by messing with tab. Yep, see, there we go. Somebody left a comment saying, hey, you deleted your quartz storage. Well, no, not really. We got two of these right here. That's why I did this. This thing up here was just to hold extra that we didn't really need to worry about. Yeah, our food situation is just so good right now. 17 thousand. Seventeen thousand food. Cereal bars are going to get better once the rice improves. And that's going to take a little bit here. Uh, the rest of this isn't going to get put in until we can actually get down there. So what I will do before that happens is put another flip this I guess. Put that guy there and that guy there. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say that we're probably just going to be storing quartz over here. And then that should be okay. Once these two are gone, I can put in the rest of the medium mine. Uh, this is still flooded, by the way. So now we're actually just waiting for human relics, it looks like. Everything else, except for logs, is there. And then we're going to need to continue getting rune exploration points so we can put the rest of the stuff here. But power generation is going to become a concern pretty quick once this is actually up and running. Uh, since they just came up, we should have... Uh, no, we should have enough to do this? You'd think. Yeah, there's those five. They just have to actually come down here and pop it in. And there she goes. Now we have an underground factory operating team making... Oh, it feeds off of human... Mm, okay. Yep. It feeds off of human relics. Five per hour. So this is actually not... Wait, not five per hour. 0.1 per hour. Never mind. I looked at this down here. Don't look. Just... it's It's been a very, very long day. <laughs> I'm bad at math. We've established this. Uh, what else can I build in here and not be completely insane. 
I can't even read because that banner's there. This is an underground laboratory. Crate storage. I'm not worried about the giant storage quite yet. Supplementary expedition team is probably going to be something we're going to want to get to. Although those guys take... No, it's the same amount of time. No, it's not. It is absolutely not. It is half as fast. Well, it's fine. That's going to be okay. We know we can make good use of them. Anyhow. Come on, let me place this in here. Hello, thank you, okay. Oh, I haven't unlocked it yet, that's why. All right. So, we can set... Actually, this one doing this every five hours, and then this one doing every 20 hours. Going forward, it's probably better because I don't see any of these recipes actually consuming. Ah, except nuclear waste, but hey. That, we're not there yet. I think that's going to work. So we'll leave that alone. This is still flooded. All right. Medium mine. There we go. There we go. Get that thing's set to quartz. And then they're going to be good to go. And I've got space here. If I want to put something else, I can. But right now, I don't think we're going to need to worry about it. Should be okay. Because everything is waiting on glass. And by everything, I mean building the greenhouse and then trying to fumble my way toward figuring out banana trees. There's also the issue of not having enough bad water. You guys kept bringing that up because I got rid of the bucketing posts. And the only other real solution to that is to put in a actual like powered pump. But again... It's one of those things where you have to be careful where you place this because the beavers have to be able to get into it and they have to have power actually available. And uh, this, hold on, where's the, I can't see anything. Where is the power? It's on the corner there. Okay. So if I did, oh man, this lag is something else at 600 some beavers. If I were to pop this, oh, it's so close. I could actually... No, because it has to be submerged. See, this is... Mm, this is a frustrating building. <laughs> There's so many locations where it would make sense to put this in here, and then most of the rest of them where it's just like, well, that's going to cause more problems than it solves. And I really... I don't want to use this bad water bucketing post because it's objectively a bad thing. But this is just... Ugh. I don't know. If I complain about it too much, I'm going to get people angry at me. So maybe we won't do that. This is actually... Well, no cereal bars, but... It's going to get us there, hopefully. I have storage for cereal bars. A tiny amount of storage. I think we are going to have to have... A... Uh, cooking tent just for cereal bars up here. Or in these general environs so that we can actually, you know have this work I don't know, do I want to put it up here I kind of feel like I might need to okay well you, you never need to do that or maybe you do I don't know but I just think it's nice to have all this stuff in the same spot as it's being consumed I think that this is like a little expedition base camp kind of deal except it's you know still pretty close regardless bad water we need bad water and I'm pretty sure I can't just grab it out of here, which is, well, it's fine. It is what it is. But I've got these two down here that are, uh, well, they're, they're doing something, but they're far away and that's causing issues. So I really should have another one over here. It's just the problem of situating it in such a way where it's not just going to be a infection speed run thing. It gets to be very difficult trying to figure out how to do stuff in this. Oh man, I just I just don't know, man. Like, I would be able to maybe not have problems with it. I, man, 
This, the way this is designed is like specifically to mock me. Well, obviously that would work, but I can't get into it. So you move it there and then, oh, well, the doorway is exposed. The conventional wisdom seems to be just blast a hole in here so it can't actually get infected and put something else on top of it. But like, that's a lot of work to do for just a bad water pump, right? And this one has to be powered, which is a non-starter for like 99% of the time, because then you have to actually figure out how you're going to put power to it. And this is... I'm disincentivized to want to do that because of the enormous quantity of suffering that would impose upon me. Bad water bucketing posts. Probably just going to end up putting these back in as bad as they are, because it's a much less complicated solution. That is what I need in my life right now, is much less complicated solutions. Hour and a half for one bad water, versus an hour and a half for like seven on this thing, but I don't have to figure out how to put a building down. So that's what we're gonna do. And a stunning twist of fate, berries are the only thing, the only thing stocked here after being almost impossible to acquire anywhere else. Um, oh, this is no longer flooded. Wait, why is... Okay. This lag is like something else, man. Alright. There we go. These are all going to get quartz. Uh, the glass, I think, is already set here, is it? Yes. And we're 95% of the way to getting two panes of glass. Oh, I lowered the amount of workers because we didn't have enough workers. But now I've got 34 incapacitated. The incapacitated beaver number never changes. It doesn't matter. It really does not matter what I do. Anyway, um, I need to have more beavers working here, but they also get injured really easily, so maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. See, that's why I was trying to do uh, like these surgery kits for major injuries, severe injuries, whatever they're called, but the strong alcohol is the problem. So maybe I just won't even bother with that. Uh, antibiotics are for what? It's not going to tell me, is it? Oh, it's probably in the... Um, mild diseases, bramble flowers... Yeah, see, it just, it doesn't tell me what these things do. I just have them. Oh, and that takes alcohol, too. Okay, well, we're not making enough of that because I need more rice. I thought I had solved my rice problem. I know I got rid of all the rice over here, but we added pretty much that exact same amount over here, and that wasn't an issue. I really don't want to build another stack of rice over here. I feel like that's really not a uh, good use of space. But we might end up, might end up doing that. Um, what I can tell you though, is that green peas are not going to need to be grown anymore over here, because we have them automated. So I'm going to just unplant these green peas, and I think we're probably just going to blow this up and have this be even more rice. Well, we're while well, we're here, I'll just take all this out. We can leave these in for right now. But we'll take all that out, and then when I remember in three episodes, uh, we'll get that taken care of. So we are... Uh, oh, that was a nine-day drought. Yeah, and the... <laughs> yeah, you know... I mean, I really... My brain is not with it today. I'm going to... I'm going to make the executive decision to just stop doing this. And by this, I mean sawmill stuff. We're just consuming way too much power. Yeah, we're, we're still demanding 8350 because I have these guys going here. So if I pause this one building, is that going to pause all the attachments too? 7900. No. Well, now it, now it does. So now we're only drawing 6,900. I never turned off my uh, my engine over here. 
Well, we're still going to run out of power in like two days, and that's... God, me so hard. I don't... I did not plan for this at all. I need to have more power storage. The, um, the flywheels are tempting me. They're tempting me, but the capacity just isn't there for the amount of stuff that it costs. Like 10,000 science. I don't even have 10,000 science. It's the 120 metal blocks for me. Oh, also the treated planks that I can't make. Um, yeah, forget that. That's, that's not going to be viable. The heavy gravity battery would be a great thing if we had nuclear fuel, which that's an entirely different can of worms. Um, it's under... We've got nuclear press. It's, I don't even know what any of this stuff is. Nuclear power plant's got its own got its own thing. Um, see, this doesn't even... This turns... Okay, that turns that into power. Wait a second. It deletes... Li what? No, oh, this is too much for me. This is this my no? All right, forget it. <laughs> Not messing with that until I can. I don't know. I don't know that there's any circumstance that's gonna make that make sense to me. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to uh, get the rest of this. See, I I want I I want the greenhouse to be finished, but we're gonna run out of power. I'm gonna have to pause it. I I'm gonna have to do it. It's consuming so much power. And these things, too. And if these stop, we're going to have all sorts of problems. Man. Mmm. So many problems. So many problems. At least this is done. Ish. This is not going to completely prevent this from retaining bad water for the entirety of a, uh, a temperate cycle after a bad tide, but it's going to help a whole lot. Okay, so this guy no longer has anything to do. Honestly, I probably just want to blast this flat so I can use this space. But before we do that, I've got to get up top. Which actually... Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Because that is then going to allow me to just... Blanket mark all of this for cutting. Probably just the easier way to do it. And then undo it later. Instead of just hunting and pecking. That's not gonna not gonna be that big of a deal. So once that's built then you can come up here and grab all the rest of this stuff. And we'll attach this if I can click. Thank you. That'll give them something to do for a while. Power wise... Yeah, we've got six days left and we're almost out of juice. All right. Okay. Yeah, this is not going to be great unless I could just blast this all the way down. That would be such a waste of dynamite, though, because I'm supposed to be using the dynamite to expand our rice production. Once these are all picked and removed and all that jazz. Fermentation house is fermentating. Gather flag is gathering. Theoretically, there's berries here to be picked that aren't being picked. Uh, how's our quartz looking? 165, okay. Well, that's to be expected. Man, I gotta... See, this is why we need glass, because I, I can have solar arrays. But I can't make the solar arrays until, <laughs> until I have enough stuff to make the solar cells, which requires more glass that I can't really afford to make right now, but I'm doing anyway. Oh, hey, they put one of these in. That's good. Which one's next? That one, okay. Well, once I have enough, I can start planting additional sequoias. Even if we don't need them, we can still turn them into regular logs. Or build giant pillars out of them or something. We're going to be out of power here, and that's going to really be irritating. Uh, I wish I could understand the process of the nuclear thing. Read the billboard. I promise you it's not going to help. It is, it's super not going to help. Yes. It's just, it's a building guide. It doesn't tell me how to actually do it. 
Yep. What I need to I need to know is how to get I can't even remember what the thing is called. Green thing. Nuclear fuel. Because that comes out of See, I don't even know, like nuclear base, nuclear boiler and lodge. This turns it into power. And that's nuclear waste. It takes waste. Well, how is it waste if it hasn't been used yet? Ugh. Hamsters in my brain have gone on strike. I digress. Uh, what am I going to do up here? I don't know. So we're going to completely ignore that. I finally have a greenhouse. All right. Bananas. Banana trees. There doesn't... Oh, that's not watered. Um, No, it is watered enough. Do I need to have a path in here? I, I guess... I guess I can just leave this. But it has a doorway, so I think it would have to have a, a way to get inside? I don't know, man. I mean, they can get in here. The banana trees, um, apparently you have to cut them down to get the bananas because they haven't figured out how to harvest anything. But I, I, I guess, I guess that's fine. I just have to, oh, I, I did mark that for cutting. Okay. So where's my lumberjacks over here? I've got, oh, that's not in range at all. Okay. Well, in that case, mm, would it be better? No. No, it would not it would not be better. I'll just put that one guy there. That'll be fine. At least I'll have bananas. I don't know what to do with them. Short of trade, which might actually be a nice thing to have. I don't see any I don't see any recipes for food that actually use those, so maybe we never needed them and I'm just doing a uh thing that isn't going to be necessary. Now we're out of power. Four days left in the drought. Four and a half days left in the drought. Well, we're out of power with the exception of the engine that is burning methane to the tune of 300 HP and everything's going to be slow. Oh well. What was I doing with explosives? I already forgot. Um, there was something. Something I was doing with those. Uh, oh yeah, over here. Except this isn't nearly ready to be uh, to be blown up yet. So we have 89. We might as well go ahead and start clearing this space. Just get it done. All right. So this blockage can get removed. I'm just gonna click all of these and. They'll get to them when they get to them. I think it's going to be what we have to just do. So up here there is some scrap metal that can get removed, which we can easily take care of uh, with the help of one of these guys. Hopefully. Um, chestnuts. Chestnuts. Somebody said something about planting more chestnuts here. Um, this is the limit of the Forester, so I think I'm going to have to build a temporary Forester. If I can get one in here in a way that's going to make... Oh, this lag is ridiculous. In a way that's going to make sense. Alright, um... So get rid of that. Straight through. Come on. You know, we probably don't need to have this here either. But regardless, I need to be able to put in... Oh, we have so many sunflower seeds. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to get rid of all this. I need to be able to put in more chestnut trees because we're going to start running out of those at some point. Maybe. In the future. Alright, there we go. The range of this guy actually goes all the way up here, which is something else. 
These GMO growing labs are making plenty of mushrooms. We have, wow, we have almost 10,000 mushrooms. Why do I have so much storage for mushrooms? Okay, well, maybe I should turn one of these into berries. Yeah, let, oh, of course it uses sawdust. My God. Well, we need, we need berries anyway, so it's fine. Bramble flowers. You know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave this as it is. We'll figure it out. We'll make it work. Uh, but I do need to put in more chestnut trees. So that was the whole reason why I came over here to do this. All these are going to be chestnuts. Um, is that under basic village structures? Yes. Temporary forester for temporary foresting. I'll get that taken care of and then I think we'll be okay. Because we're never going to cut these... Uh, we're never going to cut these down because we're getting chestnuts from them. Oh, there's so much over here that doesn't need to be marked for cutting. Okay, that should help. There we go. Wait, what? They never cut this tree down? Okay, alright. That can just get removed. We still don't have enough bat. I'm going to have to build that thing. I'm going to have to do it. It just... Why? Why? I know the answer why. I, it, it's supposed to be hard, yes. But why? Why Why do this? Genuinely, why do this? <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. They want to know why. Well, this is just going to go here. We're just going to have beavers that continuously get sick. But we'll have bad water over here. So since there's no power anyway, I might as well unpause these. Just to uh, get that taken care of. So this is making planks and sawdust. We're going to have to unpause that, but it's going to be a while before we have enough power. I just, I need glass. I need glass so I can make this solar panel stuff. It'd be so nice. Would be so nice. Wait, which building actually makes that? Um, I feel like it's... I can't remember anything anymore. Um, no. Photo... Oh, it's... Oh, it's the factory? I feel like I should have known... Okay, whatever. All right. You are now making solar cells because I need those because I need to have solar. And this is kind of a no man's land of everything super far away. So maybe this is a good spot to do that. 700 science. Now these have, oh, you can daisy chain them now. That is not how that used to be. At least as far as I can remember. That's actually going to help us out a whole lot now that that's, that's how this is set up. I just have to be able to get power into this, which should not be a problem. I've just got to be able to find a good place. I guess here is probably what's going to make the most sense. Yeah, just directly. Oh, it's like I planned it. I can promise you it's going to take forever and a day to get this taken care of, but but it'll be nice when it's done. And since they're daisy-chained, I don't have to do that weird nonsense I was doing before. And since there's no power, I don't have to feel bad about taking this out. Because now we can just do... Platform, platform, platform. Put in a... Let's make it a four-way just in case. I don't know that we're ever going to need it, but... That should be fine. And then... This... I'm just going to do a universal and then... Alright, like that. In case we need to go anywhere else with it. But that's going to be great to have some actual solar panel stuff that we can make good use of. Of course, we are not going to get very far with 4% power. Oh, now it says 7. Power input. <laughs> trying to make solar cells out of glass panes that we are also trying to make. Well, I guess it must have made at least some because it consumed those. Well, I don't know. Is that something that has to go in a 
special thing. No, this will hold 150. All right, that's fine. 40 incapacitated. Okay. A lot more burns, so I guess we probably need to switch this back to Frostbomb. Probably need to build more than one clinic, but can't do that without having um, another nursing license. And that's something that the library has to make. And the nursing license, I'm pretty sure... Oh, this lag is unbearable. I'm um, pretty sure the nursing license takes... Yes, yeah, six and a half days, and that's expensive. Wow. Okay, we're not going to be doing that. We're just going to have to wait. Going to have to be patient. Did we put our explosives over here? We sure did. All right, let's set those off. Hopefully nobody steps on them. All right. And that gives us access to more trees here. And pretty soon we'll be able to actually do something over here. I don't know what it is we would be doing over here, but we'll be able to do it, whatever that is. Also probably should... I mean, I just, I don't want to waste my dynamite blasting this out just for the sake of having power for another third of a day, but I, you know what? Oh, the triple actually uses a whole lot, a whole lot more. Is it worth not being annoyed having to constantly redo this enough to use the triple dynamite? Or do I just need to babysit this thing? Oh, you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> just, I'm just going to do it. Never going to get anything done if you don't just do it. Was that the Shia LaBeouf meme? How long do these, uh... Okay. Well, at least we have that taken care of. I would love to build another greenhouse, but I need the glass to make solar panels. I hope this is a good place to put these. Like, I can't imagine doing much of anything else over here. I probably could have put this on top of storage, too, but, you know, I just... I just kind of want to get this... <laughs> just kind of want to... Kind of want to get that done. We could also be doing uh, well-being stuff in various locations. Viewing spot upgrade. Oh, this... Okay, it's another one of those upgrade things. Um, I guess see, the Gordon needed the endothermic essence. That's why I didn't do the exercise plaza. I guess it's supposed to go in the stack with the other stuff. Which, I'm not going to use space in the stack for that. Sky fountain. Wait. Does this have to be placed? Oh, no, it doesn't. Wait, is this supposed to go in? Okay, it's supposed to go in a stack of clockwork hydroponic farms. Um, well, I, I guess. That's a lot of resources to actually put one of those in there. Anyway. This is surprisingly mostly uh, done here. We'll just start by blasting this out and plant some more rice because you know we need it. You know we need it. What is... Why Why was this... Oh, okay, because we didn't need screw press axles there. I got 48 screw press axles right now, though. Because I had this guy making them. Well, that's a very useful thing. I'm going to... Wait, never mind. Nobody's working here. I guess that means I can have this do something else now. Uh, scaffoldings would be great. Drill bits. See, but I'm not really... Well, I'm going to make some more drill bits. Because I can. And you can never have too many drill bits. Alright, how many left here? Just a couple. Alright, somebody come finish this. Thank you. So I can set it off. Nobody walk on this, okay? Alright, you got to promise me. Cool. Rice time. I got 16 explosives left. That's going to help a little bit for our rice purposes. I went right past. There we go. That is quite useful to have all of that there. So I'm going to go ahead and... Because I can place this. I don't have to wait. But this is going to cause problems if it gets put in before... Wait, no it's not. Because we can just build from up above. That's not going to be an issue at all. 
what I need to do is I need to put in a power shaft turn here. And then we'll come back and check on that later. How are we looking here? Did I not mark these for... No, I super did. Ah, no available workers because we're down 81 because we have so many incapacitated beavers. Man, there is not a good solution to this. Severe injury, contaminated, unwell, minor burn, mild disease, major burn, 16 generic injuries, which... I... Th guess... Oh, it's half fermented sake that we don't have because we don't have rice. All of our problems ever are because we don't have enough rice. Well, we probably also need to just build more of these beds to begin with. Uh, injury wise, so I just I don't really have any good places to put this stuff. Stop me if you've heard me say that before. Um, Injuries seem to be pretty pretty common here. What did I... Okay. So I'll just I'll build two more of those, and then this one's for minor burns. Build another one of those. Not like we can really supply everything, but... We maybe... Are going to be able to do it at some point. Now, one of these was going to make... Or going to give me the ability to make more... Balm? Yes. Laboratory. But that requires hydrogen, which good luck even figuring out how to make that. Okay, rice has been planted. I've got some. We'll let them charge that back up a little bit. Alright. Oh, someone stopped in the middle of... Okay. Am I out of gears? How am I out of gears? I thought we were... Okay. We're just burning through these things. Because it takes 10 hours to make one paw-made gear, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, they're uh, they're taking their sweet time. So, instead of drill bits that I can't make, let's make gears. I know I can make those. Holy crap, 10 gears an hour? Okay, let's go. That, that's actually... That's actually a huge... Mmm. 10 FPS. All right, we're, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. I don't want to wait, though, so I'm just going to prioritize this. Should need two more after this one's done. And then I can build the rest of these gravity batteries. And maybe at some point, if we figure out nuclear, we can use the super heavy stuff. But that's going to be a little way in the future. Man, we just have such a huge problem getting beavers to not be injured. Wild. Okay, we're actually full on storage of the giant logs, so this is cutting into planks. Okay, well that's good, we need those. It takes one day to do 150 though. Um, I guess I should make another storage for giant logs. Alright, I gotta find a good place to do it. So I didn't really set myself up for success here, did I? Sure did not. Is that going to be... Okay, first of all. It says nothing about it can't go on top of something else. But I have these trees here I should have gotten rid of, and I didn't. So that's um, unfortunate. Still 40-something incapacitated beavers. Frost Balm. I still don't have any because I don't have enough. How much minty bamboo does this... Sheesh. Um, surgery kit. Strong alcohol. Nope, forget it. Don't have strong alcohol. Back to the Frost Balm it is. Oh, rice. Come on. Come on, rice. I know it takes eight days to grow. I'm thinking we're going to want to actually take these out and rotate them here so I can have a little bit more space. Well, it's it's growing. It's not going to hurt us while it's growing to take these out. So we'll just do the quick and easy rebuild. Mmm, lag, yes. Stop playing at three times speed, then we'd never get anything done. I've thought about this. I've thought about this. 
Uh, assistant farmers. There we go. All right, so that being there is going to allow us actually, actually, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna blow all of that up and I can, I can get rid of this entirely. So this is all connected around the outside. But if I want to be nice to these beavers over here, I could still allow them to have this uh, pass through. Probably going to still do that. Um, just get rid of these two. How much more do I have? I got five. All right, that's not going to... Not going to be an easy one here. All right, nobody walk across the bombs, okay? I'm gonna set them off, and it's your fault if you get blown up, so don't do it. <sighs> what did I just say? Who who got blown up? Sorry. <laughs> oh man, like there's nobody there. Am I gonna be able to plant rice under this? No, that's that's not gonna work. Well, it'll get fixed. It'll, it'll improve. Won't be for a little bit, though. Alright, so this is going to just be path under here. That's going to be platform. That's going to be like that. And then one more platform here. I should have put that in first. But now we have access. Maybe not super... Um, you know what? This should be a ladder too. That should absolutely be a ladder, which means this one doesn't need to be a ladder. But oh well, I already put it down. Now it's not quite so stupid. This river bath probably also shouldn't be in here, but at this point it's probably a little late for that. Okay. Okay. Banana trees are fully grown, which means it's time to cut them down. Oh, somebody actually did. I've got bananas. I guess they're just eating them. Cool. Um, I don't know of anything else I can do with the bananas. Awful stew is supposed to be being made here. Um, I, this is just going to be easier for me to look it up here. Who takes bananas? For trade. Oh, I can retrieve bananas from the island beavers. But I can't send them. Okay. Oh, Ampere's will give me solar cells if I send him 50 fried rice. I don't think so. I'll make my own. Make my oh, I got two of these. Ah, that's the sound from the uh, the control tower. So somebody's got to work here, huh? Got to make sure those solar cells are in the path of sunlight at all times. Well, at least uh, I know I can prioritize those, and that's going to be easier. All right. I prioritized this and then immediately went to go do something else. I know that's frustrating. Um, there we go. That's done. This, I'm pretty confident I can get away with putting here without this actually being finished because this is prioritized. But this way, I'm not going to have to worry about it. This is rising slowly. Can't get required materials. So that means they probably are going to finish this first then. Alright, well then I'm going to have to pause it and then I'm going to forget about it. Unless we see that turn red down below and then we'll be able to actually set it off. But I don't know that that's going to happen anytime soon. Oh, they are, they are coming quick with this. Let's pause. Pause the gravity battery. Nitroglycerin. 
It's in route because it doesn't say it can't find it, so that's good at least. Our water got really low really quick. Huh. Oh, it's because there was no power for two-thirds of the drought, and that's how we get all of our water. Of course. All right. Put the, put the nitroglycerin in here. I know somebody else has it. There you go. Somebody come finish this before the end of the day. Please. Thank you. All right, so that can get blasted. And unpause. So that will help us out massively with more power. We got a lot of beavers who are hungry, thirsty, but we have plenty. We have 21,000 food. Wow. That's a lot of food. But we haven't really done a good job of spreading it out either. Are they still not planted these... Oh, of course, there's nobody working here. Oh, it's Faded Goat. It's the one I killed with the dynamite. Sorry about that. Um, you can go ahead and pop those things in the ground for us so those can continue to grow. Um, this... Why? Nothing... Oh, there's nobody here. Okay. Well, it's fine, I guess. Dynamite is lagging again. Um, have we filled in... No, we filled in like two of these. Well, eventually, at some point, this will be complete and we'll be able to fully utilize it. How are we, uh, nothing over here, huh? Nothing to do in range. Well, we do have to get up here to get rid of stuff, I guess. No workers. Okay, so that's, I guess we'll, we can just kind of leave this alone a little bit. Uh, staircase. That's going to just be easier to do it that way. Get these out, and then we can blast that down. I know there's this little chasm down here, but we're not worried about that. We just want to make sure stuff can get done. And hey, these are um, these are good. They're connected. It's all looking a lot better, even though we're using 9,400 HP. Look at all this wood. I don't even have anywhere to store it either. Well. Now I think we can be uh could be a lot uh a lot safer in trouts, power wise. Incapacitated still almost forty beavers. Uh but the now there's there's no meaningful change. I think I'm I'm gonna be chasing that thing the rest of this game. But what I can do, because I have so many of these giant logs, is I can just go ahead and keep putting mega platforms up. We're gonna we're gonna keep making this taller anyway, so we might as well. While we have the chance to. Okay, ladders. That's the correct side. There we go. Since they can stand on top of this. Might as well make that happen. Uh, vertical. Two of those, two of those. Then a universal. So now we're ready to put something else on top of here that we need to be growing. And honestly, the way this has gone, it's probably going to need to be more rice. Do we have... Oh, wow. Okay, I can stop making robot parts. I can definitely stop making robot parts. Um... Wooden toys would be nice to have. We might as well just go ahead and start making wooden toys. Because then the beavers can all have toys. And then we can have the nerdy attic. But yes, um, I forgot that I had done that. So, clockwork hydroponic rice farms it is. Two more of those. Because we very clearly are still held back by rice. So solar cells, I have 10. I need eight more for this. I think we can probably stop having this make solar cells just as soon as this other solar array is finished. That's 1600 HP right there, only during daytime, of course, but that's a good insurance policy to have, and it only costs four beavers to work it. Probably should go back to making... Um, uh, no, we don't need to make drill bits over here. Go back to just making 
metal after this one's finished. No, it's finished. All right, cool. So that, that's been a help. Quartz-wise, we have 669. Okay, that's a lot of quartz. For some reason, we don't have enough coal. But we do. Okay, well, who am I to understand the inner machinations of how this mod works? Um, I can't help but think I'm forgetting something important. Well, if it was actually important, I would have forgotten it, so. I guess we'll just start blowing more of this up so we can eventually make our way across this bit. It, it's just, this is just like really, really inhospitable terrain over here. One piece at a time. That's all you can do. These are marked for cutting, right? Yes, okay. Well, probably what I should be doing with all of my explosives is making this bigger, because you can never have enough rice, ever, somehow. I think we're at a point now where this would probably be a good place to stop for this episode, because I don't really know what else is feasible for us to do without taking a whole bunch more time. I know there's more stuff I can plant here. But I, oh, I was going to find out where this plants, and I didn't, I didn't do that. So, maybe it's 4x4. Four four. Well, if, if it's 4x4, four four, no, but that doesn't let me put it there, but it, it lets me put this here, which would be, yeah, what's up with that? What's up with that? Was it, it's 4x5? That wouldn't make any sense. At any rate. I put that there, and then it does take up a 5x5 five five space. Huh. How strange. Well, at any rate, we're going to have, I guess, two of these things. Probably... Probably not going to cut them down. Just because we can. Uh, the, uh, the bench here. Wait a second. Hold on. Oh, it can only... It can only go underneath one of these. Okay, well, this might not be the... Come on. It might not be the best place to put some sort of recreational thing, but... It'll... It'll give us something to do, I guess. So, I suppose, is it going to actually let me get away with doing this? Okay. That works. And that also gives us a path to the entrance here that we probably didn't need, but hey. Got to be careful not to build inside that thing. Oh, I made a mistake. That's too much room. Too much room. Oh, well. We'll just let it be what it's going to be. Because as soon as they build these benches, then beavers can come up here and be refreshed. Maybe. Maybe. All right, who, who's the first user of the bench? Hoffmeister. Congratulations on sitting on a bench. Sitting on a park bench. Don't do the second half of that line, though, that I'm not going to say on a video. But, yeah, this is going to be it, folks. Uh, I appreciate you sticking with me for all the nonsense and the insanity of the endgame water beavers, if we are even in endgame, which probably isn't the case. Uh, but this is very complicated. And I am learning as I go, so obviously I'm not going to know everything there is to know about it. So uh, the support and the encouragement and the uh, helpful tips and so on are always appreciated. I always read all the comments. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad you're here. And Beer Boosters, of course. You already know. But it bears repeating. Cannot, absolutely cannot do it without your support. 
you subsidize all of this madness of being 47 episodes deep in a series that is based on a mod for an old version of the game. So, uh, seriously, thank you guys very, very much for all the support and all the fun of being able to do this. Even when it's complicated, it's still fun. So, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. Stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next one. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.